Um, I'm going to draw a little Kirby. So, so one of the things I've been doing for my boys is uh, these, uh, these drawings for the day. Whoops. Um, I've just been drawing them in a way that they can, they can actually, uh, I'm going to sketch it out real quick. And there's not much to Kirby. He's a big freaking circle. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. If I feel like drawing, I might, I might go in and do some other stuff. Try to get this to a decent enough circle shape. And then I will trace over it and build out a proper circle shape. Um... But yeah, Kirby is Kirby's another one of those really simple gen, simple uh, geometric thingies from from uh, Nintendo. I mean, <laughs> like all honesty, I shouldn't even be drawing this. This is like almost like cheating. But I want to do at least a single drawing a day. Even if it's just a a cheesy one, and uh, hey, it's 2D Heroes. Look at that. Who's that guy? So let's uh, we'll just I'm gonna bring this in here so we can leave the border for his eyes. But the one thing I want to do is um, I want to not. It's gonna make it's gonna make it look really weird, but I don't want to. I want to make the whole thing where they can color in the eyes. My boys can color in the eyes, whatever they want. And again, I'm just gonna tighten this up. I'm trying to get better at um, at using layers. This would actually probably be a good one to um, to practice coloring in. But I don't think I want to spend a huge amount of time on Kirby. All right, and then he's got these like. Uh, well, it would be good if I actually drew it the way that it's supposed to be instead of me just uh, faking it. He looks like, he looks super trippy with his eyes not colored in, right? Like, it looks like he's like... Alright, well, whatever. This is my sketch of Kirby. Uh, he's got a shoe. Look at that. Who doesn't like shoes? How's it going, Andrew? How was your stream today? Are you drunk still? 2D Heroes, my uh, my artist for many of my games, is joining us tonight. It's always intimidating when I'm doing art and Andrew is here. I feel like I get judged extra hard because I always give him I always give him a tough time in his streams. Scurvy is like super stupid. <laughs> like I have like no zero interest in drawing this right now. <laughs> like it's not even like a challenge. Now, on the other hand, Han Solo basically made me want to curl up in a ball and cry. Hey, look, it's Kirby. We, we did it. This is stupid. Not only did we do it, but I did a really awful job of him because technically his head's like way bigger. I couldn't even draw Kirby. How sad is that? There we go. It's like, I'll just give my kids the drawing like this. Their daddy doesn't care anymore. Enjoy. I just want to see if I color this in black. And it looks like a pupil if it won't look so stupid trippy. I mean, all things considered, this actually isn't a bad little idea for my boys. Is just doing these, like they love to color because they're kids. And I can just do, imagine all the money I save on doing my own coloring books. Zero just enjoying, you just described my day. Yeah, I... I I tuned into the tail end of you probably cursing me for making you do the artwork that I paid you for, but you know, it's it's okay. I just want to get this game sort of done, and I'm gonna do the stupid 
uh, XP upgrade system that's that's in Star Wars that I hate in the Star Wars game that makes you grind, and I'm just going to do that. So you wind up with... Um, you wind up with... Uh, the more you play the game, the more you unlock, and that'll just be it. So I'm going to add in your stuff tomorrow and the next day. I'll start doing this XP system and then move on with my life. Uh, all right, so I don't know. I mean, this is this is a big, big frinkin' pink circle, right? Let's, uh... <laughs> you know what? The best part about drawing for kids is that they're going to... They're going to eat this up. doesn't matter what it looks like. They are going to just be very happy that Daddy drew them Kirby. So let's do this. Uh, lock this layer, and uh, let's see if we can actually just finish this up and then go, go shoot stuff in Star Wars. <laughs> as much as I hate grinding in that game... I do love playing that game. It's like the perfect, like, I don't know, like everyone's giving it so much crap for for being this like super casual first person shooter. But you know what, like at the end of like a long, annoying day at work, I just want to get on and kill things. And I don't feel like having a story, I don't feel like, um, you know, studying some myth about some imaginary land. Like, I happen to just know Star Wars myth mythology, so that's an added bonus. And the game looks gorgeous. That's, like, the other thing that's, like, the most important part. Like, I want a game that just is eye candy and looks super pretty. That's a terrible line, Jesse. Stop talking and start drawing. We'll just clean this up later. Let's get these two connected. And then we can clean this up. So what have you been working on, Andrew? We don't really talk anymore. You're such a busy guy. Our game, well, the game that I coded but used your art, but I still give you credit because your art's awesome. It didn't do very well at Ludumdari. That made me very depressed. Um, but I still believe in that game, and I wrote up this really pretty game design document, and I'm going to try to find someone to do the artwork, because you didn't seem very interested. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about Battlefront, because it's, it's a horrible game compared to the old ones. Yeah, sure. Shitty hype. I don't know, man. Like... <laughs> Like, all right, so every time I try to get into Destiny, it's like I just don't care. Like, Destiny, they nailed the mechanics. The game feels solid. The game looks okay, you know, for a for a PS4 game. Now, I'm all, like, onto my, like, custom-build PC, so everything looks gorgeous on my PC. I wish the Destiny was for for PC. It's not for PC, right? I think it's only for for, for consoles. But, like, every time I get into Destiny, like, the thing I hate the most about it is, like, you have to, like, if you don't know people to play that game, you're screwed. Like, you're just utterly screwed. It's like, who wants to be stuck with some random... Oops, did I just turn that off in my hand? I gotta get that stupid glove thingy. So, you're, like, you're stuck with some random people. Go for your pizza, man. Kirby Amiibos are unicorns now. Are they really? I don't get, like, I don't know. It's funny, I had, um, I care more about Destiny if it was on the PC. Yeah, so I have, um, I bought, I, I just, I don't know, OCD and pure coincidence, I bought all of the Star Wars uh, Disney Infinity characters, <laughs> and I had them sitting in my closet, and I was like, what am I doing? So my son had his friends over, and I brought them down, and I'm like, here, kids, Open up every Star Wars amiibo. And of course, I'm like the most popular dad, but I, I work in the game industry and I have a house full of amiibos and video games. So they all they all enjoyed that. 
I think what's cool, what, the coolest thing about these Amiibos, because Nintendo, it's such a cash grab for Nintendo. They like, the Amiibos do nothing, next to nothing in a video game. It's almost insulting that they do nothing. And, uh, yeah, I have all them. I, well, I have like a good amount of Amiibos. Um, but as toys, the kids love them. They actually play with them a lot. Um, the, but in the game, they're useless. Even like, I finally started playing like Super Smash Brothers, uh, with my oldest, um, which it's blasphemy by the way, but I don't get that game. Like I like fighters, but man, I don't get Super Smash Brothers. It's just like random button mashing for like a couple of minutes. Anyways, that being said, um, yeah, so like I was like all excited. I'm like, all right, I got all these amiibos. I'm gonna throw that into, um, yeah, they look they look cool. They're they're really well designed, mostly. They're in like weird poses, but they're they're well designed. I think the infinity, the infinity ones look really good. But yeah, I threw it into uh, I threw it into Smash Brothers, and it, it's like. You can't even play as that character. I thought like maybe he could own it and then he builds it up, but it's like some NPC that goes in the game and fights. It's so stupid. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it at all. But Nintendo, like you know, Nintendo's like the apple of the gaming world, so everyone just eats that up. This is a terrible line. So like I can't tell if doing doing it faster or slower is the key. But whatever. So, yeah, so I have a whole bunch of amiibos. I have a ton of infinity toys. My kids don't even like Star Wars. I like Star Wars. There's a reason I just banned Vernex. What do you say uh Give me King of Fighters or Street Fighter over Smash Brothers. Nah, I'm with you, man. I'm with Brandon X on that one. I like, um, I'm a Mortal Kombat guy, honestly. I love Mortal Kombat 2. Still to this day, like, one of my favorite fighting games. I just feel like the thing that lost me the most on Street Fighter was it, it's like, it was the same game forever. So many iterations of the same stupid game. Super Street Fighter Turbo X10382. Like it was like it was like a robot name from Star Wars. It just made like no sense. Like they had a really great thing going, and they just like they tried to milk that as long as humanly possible. Right, let's these eyes. I think I'm gonna do solid. They just look really trippy, weird. Unless they're solid black. The only way I'm not going to save money on doing these these coloring book thingies for my kids is it's going to cost a fortune to print like just keep buying ink to print these things out. Do, 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 do. There's got to be a better way to do this. I gotta. I keep saying it like every single stream. I have to sit down and read read the manual for this drawing program. It's actually a really good drawing program. I like I like the feel. Um, and since Sketchbook Pro, which I pay for, by the way, doesn't work on Windows 10, it's the only one I got. Um, I do kind of miss Sketchbook Pro. I like, I, I want it to feel a little bit more like drawing. This is really for like just doing comic booky stuff. This is about the time where like I zoom out and I realize that this this whole thing is just terrible. It doesn't look that bad. You know, for being upside down. <laughs> Man, I drew Kirby. I think if you can't draw Kirby, there's there's gotta be a problem with you. Like this isn't a I am not flexing my artistic muscle but it by any means on this one. Ugh, except for the fact that I can't do curves.
Hey, Andrew, where do you get your music from? Like, is that all royalty-free stuff? I kind of feel like when I draw, I should have music playing. But all I have is this, like, hip-hop beat track thing from, um, from Spotify. And all the music is, like... All of the music is, uh, is is not not uh, copy protected free or something, or it's not open source, not open source, um, royalty free. O C R Rainwear C C. All right. Soulcast one of the dream dream caliber is my favorite. Mario the horse. <laughs> I like the um I like Virtual Fighter. I thought that was interesting for like a moment. We can push twenty polygons. Look at these blocky guys fight. I don't know. Anyways, Super Smash Brothers stinks. It's my official take on it. I mean it looks good. I think my son only likes it because he gets to pick whichever Mario character he or Nintendo character that he wants. But I think outside of that, I mean, he's just randomly pushing buttons and winning. There's like little to no strategy whatsoever in that game. Not like drawing a Kirby. Bit Brawlers. I remember that game. I was just waiting for it to get get launched, man. Get finished. It was exciting stuff. All right, this is about as enough excitement as I get from drawing Kirby. It's Kirby. Waiting for your 6K so you can finish it. <laughs> Have I not paid you 6K already? I feel like I've paid you a lot. It's it's. I got to sit down and do my taxes, so... We'll find out what I paid you soon enough. <sighs> so, what do we do here? Do we, uh, do I spend the rest of my night drawing or getting my ass handed to me in Star Wars? I was getting really good at, um, now that I got this new gun, I mean, they really, like, I don't know, they really penalize you. <laughs> Star Wars is the, the Star Wars Battlefront game is the um Ooh, it actually looked a lot better with with those details. It had like some depth to them, right? Um Let's see. Oh, good luck with your lotto numbers. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't... I don't know what I want to do with Kirby. Maybe we should try, like, some coloring. What's, uh... Where's a paintbrush here? Um, let's start with, uh... Where, how do I pick the color? Oh, it's a gradient tool. Hey, look at all these awesome colors. It's like DOS. <laughs> really? Is this how I'm doing my color picker? Sure, whatever. Okay. Did I just like miss the boat here? What just happened? I swore I told it to be red. All right, there we go. And let's make this paintbrush a little bit bigger. I, I don't, I don't get the tooling. Ugh, Windows. Uh, tool property. 
There we go. Brush size. Massive. Too big. Um, uh, all the games streamer better get a sweet donation if you win. <laughs> so what's so special about this drawing program? So far, it looks like a minimalist Photoshop. Uh, well, um, a minimalist Photoshop would actually be a really good thing. Um, honestly, like the thing that's that's good about this drawing program is that it feels like I'm drawing a comic book. Like it's 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 made for comic books, but like here's sort of what I think is cool. Like right now, like this is um, oh my god those prism or whatever they are those markers that i used to use for like drawing comics like this this is emulating it pretty well i mean in photoshop will do this too but the problem is like photoshop is so bloated right now so like now i can get a little bit of like depth in here with the lines i mean it's uh i don't know oops i think the program is doing an adequate job sketchbook pro is a little bit better but it doesn't, it doesn't, it keeps crashing every time I try to turn it on on Windows 10. So you don't, you don't win my business if you don't work. It's another subscription service I need to get my money back from. Unity is not returning my, uh, my request for a refund. Basically, I spent the entire year being their un unwilling beta tester. And uh, I want my money back. Do, 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 do. Especially as I spent my own money on it. All right. Hey, it's 2D Game Dev. We have 2D heroes. A lot of 2D stuff going on. Hey, Game Dev, how's it going? I'm drawing Kirby. Two art degrees, and I'm drawing Kirby. Money well spent. All right. So let's get this going in here. And we'll just make this a little bit more solid and curve this out. It is nice to be able to erase, though. These markers used to be like such a pain in the butt. Once you messed up, you were, you were done. Game over. So they would bleed everywhere. Prima, were they Prima or Prism markers? I can't remember what they're called. I had to look them up. Uh, don't know if you have a Unity Pro. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> got it I bought it then decided I didn't want it. I contacted them to get a refund. This was about a year ago, though. Yeah. I got to... Um, more tries. I got to uh, I gotta hunt them down for that. I haven't... I just hit cancel, and then they canceled my Android subscription, which was useless, by the way. I was paying seventy-five dollars a month just so I didn't have the, um, just so I didn't have the, um, the Unity logo in front of my Android games that I never published last year because I didn't publish a single game. And uh, yeah, whatever. I'll 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 do something. They're smart. They don't take Amex because if they took Amex, I would dispute it. I pay everything in Amex. All right. Kirby, Kirby shoes. Kirby shoes. Uh, it's a little bit of white. And not that much white. It's not a... Uh... There we go. I don't know if that white's just his shoes or it's just because he's super plastic. Uh, I should have stuck doing what a lot of artists have. Porny anime commissions. <laughs> That's supposed to come coloring it. Uh, but I've been doing Dragon Warrior art all year. Oh, you know what, Andrew? 
I've had enough of your shit. You go find someone who pays you for art. Watch out or I'll ban you from my, uh, from my, um, my stream. Well, coloring works. Definitely does feel like it feels exact or it looks exactly like how I when I used to do comics. Um, even that awful like this this like layering effect dri used to drive me nuts. I always wanted it to be like perfectly smooth. Do, 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 do. Uh, and he's got arms. Color in those arms. I think my kids are most excited about coloring in Kirby in like all different colors because Nintendo, Nintendo really milked that man. They they have like, it's like there's a million different. Well, there's actually three three different yarn Yoshi's and you must collect them all, which I only I didn't get the pink one, just because after spending as much money as I did on the ones that I got. I didn't feel like spending any more money on Yoshi's. What are you talking about, Pixel Bards? Pixel Bards making like all these art requests from people. You want sexy Sonic stuff? Sonic Hente. Oh, God. Guys, keep it clean for the kids, man. Keep it clean. All right, so that is Kirby. What we'll do is uh, clean up some of this slop. Looks way worse. I don't know. For some reason, I think the, the sketch lines add some character to it. Uh, let's see what's what's going on. Why are you coloring this Kirby? <laughs> what's going on here? Um, <laughs> Bernie eggs. Yes, I was making a coloring book for my kids, but I decided I wanted the color too. Um, honestly, the only reason I'm coloring this in right now, um, outside of this being bored out of my mind, is um, I wanted to um, I wanted to just test out coloring in this program. Fucking A. Come on. I, I, feel like I, I feel like I'm hitting the color that I want, but I keep forgetting to hit OK. All right, you got to push down like really hard for this, huh? Amount of paint, paint des den density. All right, let's try this now. Uh, well, that would be good, except the shadow goes on the inside. So right now I'm just going through with some uh, really, really dark color for some reason. Why is it so dark over here but not? What's going on? Uh, I guess because it's like multiplied. It, uh... It's going to show up a little bit. No, it's like, it's exactly how I want it to be over here. Did I like redo, did I mess this up or something? Well, uh, what we could do is this. Let's just do this dark. Why is over here? What is going on? What am I missing?
I don't know what's going on. That looks much better, though. Delete. Doo -doo -doo. Not really much of a colorist. Uh, like fundamentals. You color like a child. <laughs> Well, I, I, I actually have years of color theory, but I, just, I'm not, I don't like doing color. I'm like some other guy I know who doesn't really do color in his artwork. You'll see. I'm just going to blend this out. This is not going to be the, uh, the final thing. All right, so let's just drop the opacity. That would give us a little bit of depth. Um, and I want to go back into the red. Get that mouth going. I Did I not choose the red? What am I doing wrong that I'm not paying attention to? I swore I chose red. It's like a pinkish thing, right? Hitting OK. Normally, I wouldn't even uh, I wouldn't even put this outline there. Look at these holidays. So terrible. I got to fix that. The only problem is now. It's just going to be a mess. Yeah. Now he's going to look like he has like a this beard around his mouth. Look at that terrible that is. Bad, bad, bad. So I didn't save that pink anywhere. Oh, I love it when my hand like totally makes this go to some random, random place. Uh, problem with deleting like this, doing these like spot deletes, is that it's going to. Uh, oh no, it's it's blending. All right, and then back to the red. I'm just going to have to, like, get a really small brush to go into that area because it's bleeding out. You didn't know that Kirby had a 5 o'clock shadow? I thought that was, like, well known. Look at that. The scale in this, in the, for these brushes is, like... Gotta sit here and keep drawing on this until it gets to the right shade. All right, I am. I've had enough Kirby's. <laughs> Useless. Uh, let me take my stupid picture of Kirby. I did it, Kirby.